Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Kickle Cubicle. I am Draco Thuvin. Alright, I'd like to welcome you now to my second uh, ever Let's Play series. Uh, this one's Kickle Cubicle, and it is uh, a blast from the past. Well, my past anyway. I don't know if uh, any of you guys have played this, but... Uh, it is uh, definitely a classic of mine. Um, it's a very weird game. Um, you start as Kickle, um, the only member of the Fantasy Kingdom who is not turned into magical dream bags or trapped in magical dream bags by the evil wizard king. Your job is to go find the magic dream bags and release all the prisoners. Simple enough, right? In order to do that, though, you have to go on the frozen continents and frozen islands that the evil wizard king has created from the people and use the uh, enemies to create blocks and bridges to find your way to them. Okay, it's a puzzle game. Very fun puzzle game, actually. Now, um, it, it looks like it, or sounds like it right now, but um, trust me, this game does have music. Okay, so don't worry, you'll get music later. Just in the demo, it doesn't for some reason. And also, this is the only demo level it shows. I guess it's trying not to give you too much information away. Um, I don't know what Kickle is, so don't ask. Um, he's just a, a, a denizen of the, the fantasy realm that, that he lives in. Um, everybody else of this fantasy realm, for some reason, is like a toy or a food item of some sort. So he's just kind of the odd man out. Um, the game consists of four major worlds. Each world has like 17 or 18 levels to it. Um, at the end of each world, you face a boss. The first three are bosses of those worlds, and the last one is the evil wizard king. After you defeat all four bosses, uh, you get to go do secret levels, and those are a lot harder than the normal levels. So, that's basically the game in a nutshell. Um, you have two attacks. You have the freeze attack that you can see him using there to make those blocks. Um, and you also have a, a, uh, an ability to create uh, ice pillars that can stop the blocks, because the blocks will continue moving until they uh, fall off the edge of the, of the map or hit something else, being your... your pedestals and whatnot. So, anywho, uh, what I want to show you real quick is there is a, uh, a nice Easter egg in here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to reset and we're going to hold A on controller 2 here. So let's go ahead and do that. And the title screen looks the same and the beginning animation looks the same. But uh, instead of the blue guy coming back, it's... Oh, it's Kid Nicky! Oh, wow, he is in Kickle Cubicle. No, that's it. That's all he's there. He, he doesn't do anything in the game. I don't know why he's there. Just to uh, promote the game, I guess. So, anywho, let's, uh, let's begin with the game. Let's not waste any more time with the introduction. Um, as you can see, there's a password system, which we're not going to be using because we're using a, an emulator, and we're heading off to Garden Land. Okay, we're going to use save states as just for save points. I'm not going to abuse save states. This isn't a, a tool assisted run or anything like that. Okay, this is just me. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to die and likely going to die in some hilarious ways. So, so anyway, you see these little blue blob guys. I don't know their names. Um, you got to kick them into the water to make bridges and you get to the end and you get to the dream bags. And then all the people are free and you can see the food item or whatever circling around you. Easy. Um, now one thing um, I'm going to show you that I'm not going to use more than once is, um, you see those popsicles there? Those are there for just points, okay? Now normally if you collect a popsicle, I believe it's 3,200 points. However, if you kick a block at a popsicle, you get double points. Woohoo! Now those uh, pink penguin guys, um, they're pretty harmless. You, you freeze them and break them. They, they don't turn into blocks like the blue guys. Um, but they will break your blocks if you let them get to them, so beware. And now we're going to get talked to. Yay! The corn has spoken. The beautiful fantasy kingdom is now under the rule of the wizard king. Yay, the palaces were hidden. Okay, so we need to find the palaces and revive the fantasy kingdom. Awesome. So let us do that. This one has a lot of popsicles. Now you've got these P blocks here, and what they do is they will actually freeze everything that's on the screen. Bam! Like that. 
I'm going to put my pillars to work here. And uh, this game does actually rely on physics. Like, if you hit one into one block into the next, only one of them will go. Um, so, keep that in mind on some of these levels. Um, however, if both of them are next to each other and you kick both of them, they'll both go flying in the same direction. Pretty easy. Um, if a uh, block is up against an obstacle and you try to push the block, it will break. Now, the blocks will melt over time. Um, so if you see one starting to melt, you can just go up and refreeze it, um, and it will stop melting. So, there you go. Okay, um, nothing really new about this level, so uh, I guess we'll just try to play through it as quick as possible. You just got to uh, get to the edges, really. Kind of a pain in the butt, but it's alright. Okay, and we can use the block to make this a little bit faster. So we don't have to spend forever trying to wait for these guys to get in the right position. And that's level. And this time we've got some eggplants flying. Flying and eggplants. And here's the level from the tutorial. Hey, over there. Pretty easy level. Kick the block. Kick the block. And we're going to snag this one up down here. Those come in handy when you don't want to continue all the time. Um, now, if you continue, it's going to take you right back to the same level as it did before, so don't worry about that. Um, but if you, can, if you continue using a password, I believe you'll start at the beginning of the world. I can't be sure, um, because I haven't done that in quite a while, not since I actually had this game on uh, Nintendo, back when I was like 9 or 10 or something like that, but, anywho, alright, so now we've got new blocks, um, those blocks with the hole in it, um, they, you can kick blocks over them, blocks will not fall in there, however, um, you cannot go over them yourself, and, uh, as you can see, the lovely chicken guys will kick your blocks away from you. So don't let them near your blocks or they'll kick them away. Uh, however, that is used as a technique in some of the upcoming levels. You must have them around or else uh, you won't be able to finish the level. Oh, and I'm going to get out of his way. Otherwise, he might kill me. And they will rush. They will hurry up to try to get there to kick your block away. Potatoes, maybe? Yams? I don't know what the heck these things are. If you got any ideas, message. Alright, I think one more level and, and we've got it for this episode. Um, yep, definitely. Alright, now these teddy bears are new and those blocks are new. So, now these teddy bears, um, you can freeze them, but if you try to push them, they just come right out of it. So, they are sneaky. Watch them, it's not, not fun. Okay, and we got the ring. Now, what this ring does is it fills the level with power-up, or not power-up, but point token thingies. Um... And guess what? You don't have to finish the level. So, haha, -ha, I'm lucky on this one, because I really don't like this level. Um, I don't know if any level can have those things, but it seems to be pretty random. Um, the time I did the, uh, the practice playthrough, I didn't see one. Not one! So, I guess I'm just lucky here. But, then the level's finished, and we've got onions! So, next time on Kickle Cubicle, hopefully we'll get to the boss. We'll see.